Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can back up your Linux apps and your Linux files. If you've not yet used Linux on your Chromebook, I would strongly recommend doing so because it opens up so much more software for your Chromebook. Instead of just using what's available online, which is great, and Android apps, using Linux apps brings a lot more different software you can use. And you can install some of the, well, most of these programs locally so it just gives you access to so much more software so I would really strongly recommend doing so if you've not used Linux yet I have got a video which shows you how to install a Linux app store and that when you install that Linux app store it works very similar to Android app store so how you install Android apps it's very similar with the Linux app store so that means you don't need to worry about messing about with the command line if that's something that's putting you off using Linux if you want to do that I've got a video on my channel have a look and you'll find a video on how to install in the Linux app store on your Chromebook so in this video it's about backing up those files so I was looking online and I saw quite a few message threads where people were saying it doesn't work and I can see where they've come from because it does work but it's quite bizarre in how it works. So I'm going to show you where you find it, how you do it, and what does work and what doesn't work. Okay, so let's just have a quick look. I'll just minimize that. If you go to settings down here, and then go to your settings there, and then you need to go to advanced, and then go to developers like that. And from there, just click on there. And you'll see here there's an option for backup and restore. If you click on that, you've got the option to backup. And that, if you click on that, that will then back up your Linux apps and your Linux files. And then restore is if you then want to use that file that you've backed up to restore Linux apps and Linux files if there's an issue. So the first thing I realized, which was not working, and this is why there's some message thread stating this as well. Yeah, because when you're doing a backup, you initially think, well, I need to back up to an external hard disk. So I tried to back up to an external hard disk, and it doesn't work. It gets so far, and then you get an error message. So I thought it may have been my hard disk. So I tried to back up to an external USB stick, and the same thing happened, which is really strange. So I did initially think, oh, right, that is correct. What I've read, it doesn't actually work. However, if you then select to back it up to your local storage it works now that's fine that it works but the problem with that is if you then lose your chromebook or your, your chromebook files get corrupt for any reason you can't then use that linux backup because it's stored locally um, even trying to when you've got it stored locally trying to transfer that then to an external hard disk doesn't work trying to transfer that to google drive doesn't work I'm not sure whether this is done for a reason I think I think possibly that there is a reason behind it why it doesn't work the good news is you can back it up to Google Drive but you need to do it from this location so you can't back it up locally to your local storage and then transfer it from your local storage to Google Drive it just doesn't work it appears to be working but you get an error message at the end so what you would need to do from here you would need to click backup and then you'd need to go to your Google Drive and you'd need to back it. You can back it up anywhere, but I just put it in a folder I just made up. And there you can see my backup and it was 5.6 gigabytes. So it's quite a big backup, but then I've got quite a little bit on my on Linux. And that's in my Google Drive. You'd hit save. It takes about eight minutes, but once it's done, you've then got that file saved in the cloud. So the good thing about that, backing up to Google Drive, which I'd recommend doing rather than locally, if something happens to your Chromebook or you lose your Chromebook, at least you've got it in the cloud and then you should have no issues restoring. And that's all you would do. Once you've saved it, if you needed to restore a file, you'd simply click on that. Restoring from a backup will delete your Linux applications and your data. So I'm not gonna do that right now. But when you click on restore, it would then ask you to select the file location and you just simply choose where the file is located and then it would restore your Linux apps and files. As you can see, that's in Google Drive. And as you can see, I also had one in my local storage as well. 
Well, as I said, the strange, bizarre thing is that you can't save it to an external source, and I'm not too sure why that is. Even when it's on Google Drive, if you then try and save it to an external source, it will go through the process, but at the end, it comes up with an error, and it suggests that the error is that to do with the drive that you're trying to save to, which I don't think is the case. I don't know why it is, whether it's the size of the file, or it's done deliberately for a reason. There may be a reason behind it why they only want you to save to your local storage or Google Drive. Obviously, you want to save it to your Google Drive. The only thing you would need to consider, Google Drive only gives you 15 gigabyte of storage. If, for example, you had a 10 gigabyte Linux storage to backup file, if you've already used your Google Drive, you may be in a position where you don't actually have enough space on Google Drive to back up Linux. So that would then mean you may have to buy some Google Drive storage to do a backup, which isn't great, but that's the only option I can see available at the moment. So it does work. It just doesn't work when you try to either export directly to external storage or even if you've got that file backed up locally and then try and transfer it to external storage, it just does not work. So I hope that video helped. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.